My name is Shadi Nejat and I'm a fourth year doctoral candidate in the Department of Nutritional Sciences. Um, I've been working under the, under the mentorship of Dr. Naima Mostaid Musa. We're looking at the effects of heat shock proteins and their underlying mechanism affecting diabetes and obesity and metabolic disorders. So human studies have looked at heat shock proteins and they have found out that their expression is lower on individuals with diabetes and obesity. And so um, my research is um, looking at an animal model to find um, the underlying mechanism behind obesity and diabetes. And so we created a mouse model using um, CRISPR-Cas9 technology to um, knock out this gene and so our mouse model does not have this gene and so we were taking them through a 12-week study and looking at um, weight gain, um, fat mass, looking at glucose tolerance which means how the body processes the sugar that we take in and so we are looking at these processes and looking at the effect that these uh, it has on these mice that are lacking this protein. If we find out that this protein in fact does have um, you know, synergistic effect, effects with uh, obesity and diabetes. What we do is these are used as gene therapy, so similar to mRNA vaccines, we would um, translate this protein into uh, gene therapy to give um, individuals that lack or have a lower expression of these heat shock proteins. Those are given to them to kind of give them a boost so that they're more equipped to combat obesity and diabetes. You know, if they're able to lower their body weight, lower their fat mass, lower the inflammation in their body, and have a better response um, to these metabolic conditions, um, can really improve their, not only their day-to-day -day life, but again, the trajectory of, of their lifespan overall. So there's a lot of, um, uh, challenges that we have as graduate students and you know I really want to um, you know thank the Institute and the graduate school and all the resources that they really make available to us and I know that we're busy and I know we have a lot going on but really looking out and reaching out to these individuals that are here to uplift us and um, make us better researchers but also um, you know make us a mo more well-rounded um, individual also through that process and so with my collaboration with the Institute I've been able to um, learn how to really talk about my research to a broad audience and connect to, to people, you know, we all have our own disciplines, we all have our own corners, but being able to raise awareness and kind of um, let the public know, because through that knowledge, they're able to either improve their lifestyle, improve their health, um, but if we're, you know, talking in our scientific terms, they may not understand what we're doing, but if we're really able to connect with them um, and be able to make a difference in their lives is really, I think, the, the goal of what we're doing.